Hi, my name is Chiu Kai Hong. I'm 25 and I'm a bag designer. Um, I think it was because of seeing my own weight. Because I've always avoided weighing myself or looking at the scale because the weighing scale at my home has a limit. So once I went to the mall to weigh myself, I was a bit shocked by my own weight. So that was the day that I decided I wanted to start my weight loss journey. Uh, definitely food consumption because food is definitely a weakness of mine and with my trainer's advice I've gone on a calorie deficit so I've always been watching my own food consumption the calories so I can still enjoy my food without feeling guilty of overeating because I always watch for example if I plan to eat ice cream at night I try to eat less in the morning or in the afternoon so that I can still enjoy my food Seeing the changes to my body because all the subtle changes over the months has definitely keeping me motivated to keep on going. Um, I would say nutrition is definitely hard for me as well but I uh, keep it moderate and I'm very motivated to keep my diet uh, so I always watch my calories, watch what I eat so if I want to eat a more heavy breakfast, I'll try to eat lighter at night. Or if I want to eat ice cream or cake at night, I would try to avoid eating a heavy breakfast. And for me, what I do is I skip either breakfast or lunch. So that's how I keep my calories in check. So I can eat a heavy breakfast and heavy dinner. So the calories still won't go beyond the limit that I set for myself. I would say waking up early because I don't usually wake up early uh, before I started and now I've woken up at 5.30 before 6, um, usually 7am to go for my morning walks. So that's definitely the biggest change to my lifestyle. The biggest benefit to my weight loss is definitely uh, gaining confidence because I get to wear more clothes, I get to mix and match more outfits. A lot of my older clothes I get to wear again and the clothes I used to wear cannot fit me anymore. So I definitely feel more confident being able to wear clothes that I bought years ago or seeing the pants I used to wear. Uh, not fit me anymore before and now also not, not fit me anymore because it's too big. So yeah. Uh, the workouts, because if I started on my own, I wouldn't know where to start. I wouldn't know how to use the machinery, the equipment. So my trainer definitely helped me in terms of getting to know how to use it in the correct way. I will continue with my regular workouts as usual, uh, everything that my trainer has taught me over the year. And if I see any um, stagnant in my weight loss, I will try to maybe increase my morning walks a bit or maybe change uh, the weight in terms of the workout equipment. So that's how I will continue with my weight loss journey. I would say you would have to have your own motivation because throughout the years, I've always been overweight and a lot of people have told me to lose weight or join a gym, uh, friends, family, relatives, but I wouldn't listen to advice because I wasn't motivated by myself and once I found my reason, my own reason to start my journey, I have never looked back again. I would definitely say I love to see all the small achievements I've accomplished, um, like being able to walk faster or the clothes that I get to wear again or the subtle changes in my body over the months. So if you even 
So if you don't see the big change, it's no problem at all because all the small changes will help you stay motivated. And also, when I finally lost the weight, uh, a lot of people have given me comments about my weight loss and I felt very happy about it because I can see that my hard work has paid off. Kai Hong is, yes, at that time he's very overweight. So what we do is we want him to move a little bit more. So early in the morning, I want him to go for a morning walk, reduce his weight. And even our programs are a bit geared towards moving around a little bit more. So trying to incorporate more movements than to focus too much on uh, heavy liftings. Uh, but once he gets to a certain weight, he will start lifting heavier and heavier. So in terms of uh, challenges and plateaus, of course there will be some times that the results would kind of uh, falter a bit. But the key to all these things is consistency. If you keep doing it, eventually you'll get better at doing it. And your weight would eventually drop again. You just need to be consistent. Uh, basically, I would want him to send me his uh, food photos of what he ate. Just as a reminder, at first, yes, it's something that I have to point out here and there, but soon it was just a, as a reminder to take care of what you eat and uh, be aware of uh, when are you going to eat more or less. Like what he answered, moderation is key. You can enjoy the things you like, but you just need to control how much you are having them. I think the support mainly comes from uh, each other. Seeing him being able to do it daily, walk, going out for walks and uh, exercising. So what I can do is just maybe join him for some walks or invite him for some uh, extra walks in the morning when I have the time. You know, we just go for an enjoyable morning hike together. So that's how we support each other. Communication does play a big role when it comes to coaching uh, because we need our clients to let us know what they have throughout the week, what they're doing, so we can monitor how much calories they're having throughout the week and how much calorie they're burning through the activities they're doing throughout the week. So the more communication we have, the better it is for us to monitor the results. To find out if there's any reason why that those happens or some difficulty that is uh, our clients are facing. Uh, for his case, every month seeing him being able to drop his weight consistently and improving his strength is one of the major success and motivation for me to keep on going on with his results and his uh, coaching plans and everything else. The biggest lesson I get from coaching and training with uh, Kai Hong is that Indeed, in the end, consistency is the key. Sometimes we will face some challenges, ups and downs, but as long as you persist and you continue doing it, I'm sure you'll get to where you want to get sooner or later. It's just a matter of uh, being there earlier or a bit later, but the key is consistency. I feel proud of his result and I feel very proud of myself for being able to get him to where he wants to go. But importantly, I feel very happy for what he feels right now, confidence, uh, strong, and uh, being able to do what he wants. But the best part of uh, coaching Kai Hong is seeing him being able to step up to all the challenges that we throw at him, being able to do all the things that we ask him to do. For example, early walks in the morning every day being able to lift heavy every time we come here and being able to take care of his uh, nutrition. That's the best thing that, I, that this whole experience has given me.